Hey guys, Rick with CMIBeach.com. We're here today in, this is Casey Key, and we're on a beach in Casey Key called Nokomis Beach. And with my good friend Mick. How are you doing tonight, Mick? Quite well. I'm enjoying it. I love coming out here on the beach and doing the drum surf. This is fantastic. I met Mick ba way back in 2011, and we actually did a show called The Mick, the, uh, the Shaman Mick Show. Right. And he's a present day shaman. In a few minutes, we're going to talk more about that. But um, in essence, I wanted to take a trip basically here to see you, Mick because you, you've made such a difference. Oh, thank you, we're honored as well. You made such a difference in so many people's lives helping create this uh, thing here that we talk about all the time on See My Beach because it's such a, we're into you know humanity and the saving of the planet and the concerns and the connections with nature and you really embody that. And during our time with you, I went to your house many times and we went on beaches together and uh, you, know, you just really enlightened me on a lot of things that I didn't understand. And we'll talk about the connection with nature and what you do after a moment, but what I want to ask you, I asked you a little bit before, but I don't want you to put pressure on you, but because um, I can't do everything I used to be able to do, you know? Uh -huh. Can you still do some moves on the beach, that oh, kind of thing? I, you still play the drum? I certainly do just as what I've always done. Really? May not have as much stamina. After two and a half hours, I'm done. Right. Years ago. Two and a half hours? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Of constant movement in one right. form or another. <laughs> yeah. But uh, years ago, I could do it forever. Yeah. Oh, I've, I've, I've videotaped you hours on end doing that. I've seen you do it, yes. Uh huh. Well, so, uh, oh, go ahead. What you keep doing, you get better at it. Right, right. No matter how long. <laughs> Even if your body is not what it was, you still have that same connection live and drive and everything, right? Yeah, I lost a lot of uh, muscle mass in right. the last few years. I had a few health issues. Right. But the strength is still there, and the stamina is good for two and a half hours, which is quite well. <laughs> that's, pr that's pretty amazing. <laughs> And uh, actually, now I had my hips replaced uh -oh. five years ago. Wow. And I was a professional athlete in my 20s. And my kick, I was a kickboxer professional. And my kick range was so far. Since my hip replacement, my hips, uh, my range of motion has increased considerably. Really? I can reach heights I couldn't reach before. Wow. That's unbelievable. What I want to do is I want to go out and catch you doing some moves, if you don't mind, while I'm here. Oh, I only have a certain amount of time, but I was like, you know, I got to get out here. We got to do some special things with Mick. I'm and, so happy oh, you did. Yes, I tell you what, I couldn't. Just talking to you on the phone was enlightening. We've talked to community a couple times over the years, yes. and I said I was going to come to, back to Venice right. and hang yep. out with you, and you're like, come on, Rick. Yep. And, you know, life gets in the way. Certainly I'm getting older, yourself. you're getting older, I'm like, we're going to hang out. Uh -huh. So that's yeah. what we're here for. So I want to catch you some of that, and then I want to ask you a few more questions after that Certainly. that I think people will really be interested in hearing because some of the, the, the nature things and some of how the drum circle got started, and uh, this is just an interesting kind of interview. So let's go out and do some do some moves, and I'll do them along with you. No, I'm kidding. Oh. I, I can't do your moves, brother. I've seen your moves, and they're amazing. Oh, so let's go out and, uh, and do that, and then we'll come back and meet back up in, here and ask you a few more questions. Yeah. So let's My go. Pleasure. Mick McManus, right. the shaman, the, one of the, the originators of the drum circle, Siesta Key. Let's go out. All right.
right, we got to see some uh, mixed moves. Amazing that you can still do this stuff at your age. And uh, at my age that I can do anything, it's just amazing. I'm actually in pretty good shape for my age. So Certainly people people who live right, you know, tend to, to do that. It's your lifestyle. It's, it's your lifestyle, life. exactly. Life. Exactly. I've been a vegetarian for 36 years and I think that has helped me tremendously. Yes, every time I've gone to the doctor, they say I'm in better health because of that. Uh -huh. you, know, it's, yes. you know, don't drink Cokes, things like that. It's, it's stupid. Anyway, um, so first of all, before we talk about you as a person, tell me a little bit about the origination of Drum Circle. A lot of people don't know how it started. And I learned it through other people. And then, you know, I, I stalked you on the street, if you remember back in the day. Yeah. I saw you riding your bicycle. Yeah. And I stopped you in my car and I said, you may not, because I don't know how you'd respond to it. I was like, he may just yell at me or just say, get out of here or whatever. And uh, you and I hit it off right away. Yes. And uh, it was just a, a great meeting. And I said, you know, I want to feature you in a show. And you said, you know, you'd love to spread the awareness you have with other people. So it was, it was a great, great moment in my life, hanging out with you. So tell me a little bit about your connection with the, the drum circle, how it originated. Drum, yes. Uh, I was living on Siesta Key about 27 years ago. No, uh, yeah, and a gentleman friend of mine who's a, quite a, an amazing man named uh, Gittins, David Gittins. He called me and said, I'm going to do a little drum circle on Siesta Key. I'm calling a few people up. Why would you like to come? I said, I'd be honored to come and do my meditation in motion. And I said, I'd be honored to come and drum. There was 30 people there the first drum circle. Next week, there was 100. The next week, there was 200. And the cops came and said, it's too close to the condo. You just got to move to the public beach on Siesta. To make a long story short, Siesta, this is 27 years later, they average about 11 to 1,200 people a week, a week on the drum circle every Sunday. Right. It's phenomenal. Yeah. It got too crowded for me. For me, it's a spiritual connection with the nature and the, and the elements. And it got too crowded, too much of a show. So I came down in the Comus, where we are now, on Wednesdays and, sat and Saturdays. And that got a little crowded for me, so I brought it back to Venice, where I uh, lived at the time, which was nine years ago. In the first drum circle, we had three, three drummers and four spectators. Now we have a, a website page, a Facebook page, of 8,700 people active, and we draw about four or 500 people on a Sunday, a lot of families, community oriented, and at least 20 or 30 drummers. So it's grown tremendously. I would like to go out and travel to different drum circles. They're spreading. 27 years ago, when I was first into it, it was not even heard of. Right. Now they have them in Englewood, they have them in uh, Port Charlotte, they have them all over Florida and other states now. Right. In fact, there's one in Asheville, like the guys from the Columbus went up there last week and drummed in their circle. I'd like to get out and travel and encourage people to come to drum circles. What the basic meaning of a drum is, the heartbeat of Mother Earth. It's bringing us together and connecting. And as you see, I see people sitting right in the front row, they sit like this, when I first did there. And now we're into it, they're doing this. Right. It brings people together, no doubt about it. So many stories of people come to me and say how much it's helped my health. Right. It's, it's amazing to be the drums and the enthusiasm of the people and the participants. Yeah. So I'm just so blessed to be able to do this. I, I think it's super important, and I love your enthusiasm. And, and like you said, it's it's not just you. When, after just a few moments, people are really into it. Right. The, kid, the kids are learning a lot from it because you have children in a lot of your these things, and they're expressing themselves and whatever their way is. And I, I noticed a lot of times you'd have kids that weren't a good dancer, but guess what? They got out there and did their best, right. and in their mind, right. Right. they were expressing themselves. And yes. you know, that's, that's therapeutic. That's what's so what the kids get out there, four or five years old, and they they're in their own world. They're right. so free because they don't have none of the infringing thoughts from creation that are on this planet at right. this time. To no watch, political thoughts, none of the negative things. Alone. Exactly. The thing is, dance and sing like, like nobody's watching. Exactly. Kids do that. They're so receptive to it. And we influence, that is our future. Right. I want to be a part of encouraging that future. Yeah. Well, you know, I haven't told you, but in where I live, I live in Tavernier, Florida, which is... Uh, 
there's Key Largo, there's Tavernier, and there's Isla Morada in the Florida Keys. That's the first three keys. Right. And uh, I live in the middle key. And they, they do, I've, I've seen things where they do drum circles in a couple of places and things. And I've always wanted to try to get you out to some of those things. But some of the, you know, what, what's cool about the Florida Keys, so laid back and so like that, they think like the internet's like this thing that's like on the way up and they think YouTube's gonna make it one day. You can't really encourage them to understand marketing as it is. They're like, well, look at the water. We don't need a market. Right. Uh, you know, which is, uh, you know, off camera, I'll tell you what it is, but it ain't very smart. But anyway, but uh, I've talked to a couple of them, have more money you could ever imagine that does the drum circle out there and you can't get them to even listen to you about trying to do something creative and different. And, uh, you know, they're like, you know, we're making money like we are, so we're all good. People don't think out of the side of the box. But right. anyway, I'm still going to try to encourage those people <laughs> to get involved in what you do <clears throat> and uh, and all that. So maybe I can get you out to the Keys one day. I'd love to be able to do I'd that. I'd love that, to do that. The more exposure I can get, the more people I can reach, the kids I can reach, yeah. I'm thrilled. Nick's not in it for the money. I've been <laughs> around you for a long time. We, we do this for free. Uh, exactly. We I've, I've seen you just educate people and hang out people and change their lives just because you wanted to do it. All right, so that's about the drum circle. Tell me a little bit about you just as a human and making, you know, a little bit about your background. Don't go all crazy, but just a little bit about Mick, you know? Right. Well, I was born and raised in New York City, so the last thing I ever heard of was a shaman. Right. And, and then it's been a spiritual path when I, started, when I turned 31. I just started looking for play things that would help me know who I was and what I was here for. Right. And I was so blessed. I was led to the right people. Here, South America, Texas, all over, just happened to meet people who were consciously aware of what was happening at the moment and helped helped me expand my experience here. Right. And I see at the time now we've been doing this, now it's to the point where we're ready for the truth as a species. We've been told, because and I don't think it was Malice who's done or anything, we were told things that people just didn't know any better. Right. Well, that's what we were taught. That's what we should do. If you hear the word should, it was supposed to, something somebody told you. Not what you need to be doing. It's reaching and connecting with your brain and your heart. And make the right choice for what your life is about. Connecting with the elements. That's what my meditation emotion is. It's connecting with the sea, the sky, the energy of the people around me. Right. And the whole, whole thing. And the right. Animals birds it's just phenomenal yes if we pay attention yeah I, I heard similar <clears throat> thoughts of yours too i i did an interview years ago with clyde butcher you know the uh he's he's the, the amazing guy that is uh um he's the everglades photographer and he's fantastic and he was telling me about how everything connects together like that yeah. and you tell it a little more on a metaphysical level he was telling it more on a, just a connection of nature you right. know of, right. yeah because yeah. it's just a practicality it doesn't have to be uh -huh. too deep to understand right. those things but i had never really thought of it that way and uh, when i met you and we got into some of your show we got way more into the depth and just so you guys know you can still see shaman mick on seemybeach.com you simply go to seemybeach.com forward slash shaman dash mick m-i-c no k you're like me i have right. i'm rick with no k and it was clever back before the internet now it's a pain <laughs> in the butt <laughs> i have multiple emails on everything but i was like hey rick looks so much cooler without the k so anyway um so but you go to shaman mick on, on our website and you'll see all the videos we did from back in the day and uh, some of them were filmed at your apartment some of them were filmed on different beaches around the area uh and you it was either and your apartment is like a complete connection with nature oh anyway certainly yes yeah, yeah. it kind of took me aback when i first saw it uh -huh. <laughs> i've been in a place like that mick's apartment is like everything in it has a purpose and everything in it has a connection to something else in it and it was just like a you know, I was, I, I'd ask you, I'd be like, we would be off camera, I'd say, what, what is that? I don't get it. And you would explain it to me, and I learned a lot from those moments in our lives. So that's, that's the important moments in everyone's lives. So anyway, make anything, anything last, finally, you'd like to express to people on SeeMyBeach.com and our audience and just say, you know, whatever you want to say, just close it out. Love is the answer. Let it guide you. Yes. And be who you are. Bless you. Thank you. Absolutely. Great ending, Mick. Love you, man. Long, long time. Pleasure. Forever friends. And uh, we're going to take this down to American level at the end because we're going to do the handshake of the 21st century to end it. 
the fist bump. <laughs> we, we, we mix the brilliant and the metaphysical with the dumb. Because <laughs> that's the American way. Anyway, Mick, thank you so much for hanging out with me. My pleasure. Yes, and I love this. And, and, and I may go hang and see a little more of the drum circle just for my own purposes because yes, it's cool. Go down that way too. Yeah, man, we'll do that. And uh, let's, hang, let's hang out. All right. Take care, brother. Yes, thank you. Shaman Mick right here, Nokomis Beach. And look, well, this is the drum circle. This is what's going on behind us while we're sitting here talking. And uh, I'm on kind of a tight schedule, so I'm going to head out in just a few minutes. But I do want to show a little bit about the, a little bit of this. And uh, the free expression, you can't get this anywhere else. You have to go to places like this to see the connection in nature with these people. Hey guys, how's it going? How you doing? How you doing? Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing, Peyton? It's beautiful Good face. This is what Peyton. Wonder. This is what Peyton looks like in the morning to any future boyfriends. No, I'm just that. I hit my hand on my goggle case. Gotcha. So, what you guys think about the room? I loved it. It was beautiful. Wasn't it nice? Yeah. yeah. The amenities here are great too. Yeah. So many spaces in this room. Mm -hmm. More than enough storage. Come look at the bathroom. Okay. I just, you just missed shower. me packing up all of my stuff, oh. but I had all those shelves filled with nice. beauty products and hair yeah, products. Yeah, true. It was like <laughs> one spot here. Like, it was like this. So, one thing here, one thing here, one thing here, one thing there. It's completely full, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Two sinks for all two people. All me. of our right. stuff. We did just put away once again. Yeah, exactly. Well, nice. Uh, two closets. My, yeah, oh, yeah, two. All right, Peyton, so we went to finish our room. So what, show me what else. So here's my little breakfast and dinner area. Look at this. Their continental breakfast is excellent here, isn't it? And then this is the TV. Yeah. And here's my closet that is empty once again like my mom's. Yeah. You know what else I, I didn't know? We didn't end up having time to do this trip, but right. they have beach umbrellas and beach chairs and stuff like that. Yeah. Dust that you can get for out uh, on take out right to the beach. Awesome. Well, next time we come, we'll have more time to stay and we'll be able to do a little more of that kind of stuff. Yeah. Hey, you want to go show my room? Yeah. All right, let's show my room and the bathroom. First, I'm going to show you the bathroom. Yes. So, got, he, they thought he was a girl. <laughs> they have nice amenities. And well, I bring my own stuff, but it's good that they have other stuff. Here, Oops, I almost forgot that. That's my stuff in the bathroom. Here's his bathroom. What did you do in here last night, Peyton? I did a bubble bath. Big bubble bath. And, yeah, and I, and I kept like wanting to like wee. <laughs> it's and a, here's his stuff that he hasn't packed yet. A lot of He's places stepping don't. Stepping into the toilet. <laughs> all right, come on, let's show my room. Okay. And obviously there's. We all had an alarm clock, but yours just says twelve. It <laughs> <laughs> needs to be set, don't it? Yeah. So this is my room. Uh, his room's cleaner than mine. <laughs> yeah. That, you know why my room's cleaner than yours? Because you weren't in my room. Come on, guys. Okay. Keep following me. Okay, first I'm going to show you the living room and the chair. Watch this. So Super cool. Is it comfortable? Not really. Just joking. It's actually really comfortable. And I'm going to show you a little fun game for like kids. Yo! Oh. Get. Help me. Help me. 
And then, so you want to get to level right here and... Ah! <laughs> All, right. All right, let's show the rest of the room. Okay, where's the kitchen? That's the chair. Here's a nice table with some pretty orchids, towels, nice lamp, and more light. Another lamp, nice couch. <laughs> what about the outside area? Oh, not yet? Okay. And here's our kitchen. That with some ice. Try to make it icy, but it like kind of melted. Okay. And then our fridge. It's all empty. Okay. Our town is already dirty. Popcorn, our card, $20. And here's the phone. Hello? Okay, bye. Alright. Show that closet. It's really kind of handy having Here's it. Here's the closet I'll show you. Whoop. Got all the stuff you might need, iron and all that. You can't find me, you can't This is room 105 we're in, and there's the laundry room right there. You can't find me, I got you your fingers. All right, let's go. Let's show the outside? Yeah, but I'll show you the porch. Because we're on our way oh, to... I forgot to show you the TV. We're on our way back to the keys now. That right there. Okay. Very nice outside area here. Yep, I love playing out here. <clears throat> now the cool thing about this beach, this room, this hotel, is how remember when you went across the street, and went to the beach right there, yeah. and then we went and had stuff at the snack bar. Those people are really nice, weren't they? Yeah. The people at the snack bar there is super nice. This is Venice Avenue. Look at this, beautiful out here. That's one of the many pocket parks they have here in Venice. <laughs> we just lost Peyton. Guys, <laughs> not back up. Huh? I'll back up. You're gonna need help getting up. And they have more chairs over here. Ah. We'll go off camera and help her off. So as my manager was saying there's chairs, looks like I have a big pimp on my head. You can go over here, crawl on here if you want to. Like me. And just like we'll go over here, turn here, get in the tree. Alright, if you have children, don't do this. We always have to put a disclaimer on Peyton's stuff because she does stuff other kids shouldn't one. do. <laughs> All right, come on, we gotta head back to the keys. Wait, wait, I wanna show them something. So here, let me try to step down. But as you saw me uh, over here, I could step there, here, and then personal favorite is here, but there's doo doo. And that's going in bird doo doo. And all right, then that's pretty much all we got to show you. Alright, let's go. Okay, on your mark, get to go. I can't race, I'm holding the camera. Yeah, you can. You've done it before. Really, with the camera? Yeah. Okay. Hi.